Give me an overview of what Vornado is doing in this district. So we're changing everything. We're taking a collection of 10 million feet of real estate and creating a new city in the middle of New York. Now, does that include new buildings or refurbishing some of the older ones? It includes a mix of everything. Renovating existing buildings, future new buildings, all new retail, new food, new beverage, everything new, a new soul for the city of New York at transportation with Penn Station, Madison Square Garden as our hubs in the district. There's a new entry going into Penn Station here, mid-block, okay? And on 33rd Street, this is where our pedestrian uh, plaza is going in a park for our tenants. So this street is now shut down to vehicular traffic permanently. The new Long Island Railroad Concourse entrance is adjacent to the pedestrian plaza. So this is now the new entry for commuters in and out of Long Island Railroad, New Jersey Transit, and Amtrak as another alternative to the Moynihan train hall. We're now in construction and have topped out what we call the bustle. This is 600,000 feet of amazing space. So we added these floors to the building. So these double height column free spaces have been added to the existing tower. The building's now 1.8 million feet with new lobbies. We have a new 280 person town hall going into the building, cafes, amenity spaces. And at the top of the building for all of our tenants to use, we have a 17,000 foot rooftop terrace with a 3,500 foot indoor pavilion. So all the tenants can access that at any time, again, as part of enjoying the building and not quote unquote, staying in your office. Right. We're cutting out double height outdoor spaces on every other tower floor. Oh my floor. goodness. So every tenant will have outdoor space in the tower. So the, that, the loges, they'll all be outdoors. That's they're, all outdoor space. They're outdoor, but covered, which is nice. So you go out from your office space under the loggia, but you're outside. We're now walking into both the Western lobby of Penn 2 and into the main entrance into Madison Square Garden. So what people have experienced, which is this forever, will yes. be completely deleted and brand new. Wow. For a new experience. It, it does need like a little zhuzhing you up think? here. You think? You think? I don't yeah. know. It's gonna be brand new and great. So when people come into the garden or come into the building, there'll be a new entrance from the western side out of the taxiway. Okay, hard hat on. You're taking me into a construction zone, right? So welcome to the underside of what we love calling the bustle. This is crazy. A 45 foot high structure, 430 feet long, 75 feet out to 7th Avenue. This will be a wonderful lit up feature for the district. We are gonna activate it with art, with programming, with lighting, it completely transforms the street. So the experience for our tenants, for commuters, for New Yorkers, will be a complete 180 degree turn of what they had here for decades in front of 7th Avenue at Penn Station. This is the element, this will be the wow of everything we're doing. What our team did because our expectation is to do larger tenants. Right. So for example, you could create a hole to connect your floors like this. Oh. So this connects to the 23rd floor. I like that. So you could put in a stair, you can make a wow feature in your block of space. And you know, I'm from Brooklyn, we like to yell to the next you, person, Roberta, I need you. You could yell as much as right? you like. Exactly. And they come down, they just put, stick their head over. Here so is, this is here's the answer to your question about the Hotel Pennsylvania. So as you said, top-down demolition. Right. You can see the workers taking floor by floor down. That's going to take a long time, isn't it? Another 14 months or so. Now we go west. So this gives you a great feel of this new west side of Manhattan. Starting in Penn, going west. And what incredible views. It's funny because I've been in MSG so many times, but I've never looked at it from this perspective. So what are we looking at So here? we're looking at here now, we're on 33rd Street. 
33rd Street is now shut down permanently to vehicular traffic. This will be a pedestrianized public park for all of New York and our tenants to enjoy. So from effectively this point forward east will be a park which will really bring together our buildings into an outdoor public plaza for our tenants to enjoy going east toward 7th Avenue. So here they're putting in all the foundations, the sidewalks, our pavers and trees will start going in shortly and it leads up to the new entrance to Long Island Railroad. So this entire section in about six months of time or so will be completely done and new. Six months? About six months from now. How long before you think Penn District is complete? All of it. So that's a tricky question. So I would say a year from today, the, the heartbeat of the district between Penn 1, Penn 2, 33rd Street, which will be a new pedestrian plaza connecting our campus, will be generally complete, done, and perfect with our new retail, our new everything happening, landscape, scenery, et cetera. As we go forward in all of our new developments in the future, you know, that's very long-term as we go. But in terms of the hub, 7th Avenue, 33rd, 34th, a year from now you will say, wow, they did it.